It's very different from his other religious pieces. I mean, those were written after he had finished composing operas, so basically the end of his career. I'm talking about, of course, the Stabat Mater and the Petite Messe Solennelle, both of which we've recorded um, for Warner. Now, it's a mass of glory. It only comprises the Kyrie, the Lord have mercy, and the Gloria part. So in many ways, it's, it's quite celebratory. was written in 1820 when he was uh, in Naples writing all these opera seria um, uh, and he was at the height of his powers as that kind of composer. So when somebody hears this piece they're very very surprised by the vocal acrobatics uh, from the soloists. some of the greatest singers of all time in all of history and he had at his disposal the the most uh, famous tenors of, uh, of that generation was uh, 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 Andre Nozzari and Giovanni David and this is one of the reasons why the composition itself was uh, was written for two tenors. We have a huge uh, English horn solo, which is already very unusual, but this is a very, very lyrical and yet very virtuosic at the same time. And then a real showpiece for the clarinet, together with the singers, so it's, it's all in, in concertante, if you like. All of Rossini's music uh, is in some way indebted to Haydn. There is a very strong relationship, so that is grandeur. There's sweetness of utterance, but there's also nerve. It's surprisingly dramatic in places. It is of an incredible difficulty for the singers, for intonation, even for rhythm. is some of the most difficult uh, vocal writing he ever penned, literally. This aria that I sing, uh, you have to have a mastery of, uh, of three full octaves, and it's literally written. It, it's not uh, variations of any kind. He really wanted to glorify the church and the word, I believe, and by doing that, showing the entire range of every single voice. It's truly, truly bel canto at its height. You would think that this piece is performed more often because it is vocally kind of an Everest, but it is of such uh, difficulty that I think you need, you know, the best in the world. And um, I uh, have wonderful, wonderful singers, Eleonora Burato, soprano, <laughs> Teresa Iervolino, mezzo soprano. Lawrence Brownlee, 
and Michael Spires together as the two tenors. And Carlo Lepore as the bass. You need to only hear just a three-note gesture and you know it's Rossini. Oh. 